Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and today I wanted to talk to you about institutional money. Why? Because institutional money controls stocks and also controls the market. What do I mean? I mean, when you have a stock, when it lifts higher, what makes that lift higher? Sometimes it's retail traders, temporarily, but usually a sustained position is from what? Institutional buying that will come in and lift a stock higher or the market. Same thing when you have moves to the downside, something sells off, you have shorting, okay? Retail traders can short, institutions can short too. And also you have selling that comes in. So very often when you're seeing, you know, when you're, when you're looking at a chart, okay? If you, I look at technicals, I look at a chart, I look at the daily chart when I'm trying to determine where something's going to go. And why is that important? Because if you know the direction that something's going to go, if it's going to go up and you take a long position before it goes up, you can make money. If you take a short position before it goes down, you can make money. So it is important to be able to read price action, predict it, and see where it's going to go. That is what I do. That's essentially in a nutshell. In fact, in, fact, in a nutshell, what I do, okay, if you're not a trader, if you never heard of me at all, in a nutshell, what I do is I predict with a high degree of accuracy the directional bias for a stock based on the gap. That's what I do. So now you know, okay? And I teach people how to do that in a class, in the Golden Gap course. Now, getting back to what I was saying about institutional money. So institutional money is what? It's big traders, it's hedge funds, it's big, big professional traders, it's banks, it's big positions. Uh, there are many different sizes hedge funds or small ones or big ones or jimongous ones, okay? Some that have millions of dollars, some that have billions of dollars, all right? Same thing with professional traders. However, when you have a group of retail traders and then you have an institutional money, you can have a group of retail traders. They're not all, even if they could, even if they're all, for example, long a stock, I'm going to give this as an example. They're not all going to get in at the same price and they're not all going to get out at the same price. They're not all going to do the same thing. They're just not. Like, it's just it's just not going to happen, okay? Some will get out early, some will hold too long. Many people will do different things because you have a lot of people, even with small size, it could be a lot of people, lots and lots and lots and lots of lots of retail traders, but small size, a lot of people, it's not the same as having like three hedge funds or four hedge funds, okay, who may be making decisions, similar decisions, okay, in a group or together or in very close parameters. Or even if you have one fund that takes a position in something, uh, instead of thousands of people with small shares who are doing different things, even if they're long the stock. You understand what I mean? So it's about having a coordinated action. Now, getting back to what I was saying about institutional money. Institutional money is in charge of a stock at all times, at all times. Even if you think it's not, it is. Even if you think it's not there, even if you think it's not in charge, it is. It is. That is something that I realized a long, 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 long time ago when I first started trading. And then I realized that there was something to following this institutional money that, that was very, very advantageous and worthwhile. And so I spent three years of my life actually determining how I could position myself and see what these institutions were doing so that I could play along with them. Because if you can play along with institutional money, you will have a higher chance of success as an individual trader, okay? Because you're never gonna get a million people to take the same position as you. They're all gonna do different things, and again, as one individual, you're not going to move a stock like, like a fund, like a hedge fund, okay? So you have to be able to maneuver yourself as one person. And again, whether you have a big account as one person or a small account as one person, you can make money if you're in the right direction in something that is moving, moving in the right direction with momentum, with follow through. And again, this doesn't matter if you're going long or short. So it's very, very interesting because institutional money is it. That is it. I know how to read it. I'm very good at reading it. It's one of the reasons why I read the market so well. 
Well, I read the market so well. This was nothing that I set out to do when I decided that I wanted to trade because I really didn't even play the market at the beginning of my career. And then as the years went on, I ended up starting to do options. I, I've gotten into do the market, but I read the market extremely well. Even though I don't get it right all the time, I get it right a lot, a lot more than most people because I'm reading the institutional money in the market. And again, that is what moves stocks. That is what moved the market. That's how you can make money with a high degree of consistency. And that's what counts. And for some reason, unbeknownst to me, retail traders, day traders don't get that. To this day, they don't get that. And actually, the more people that don't get that, again, it gives me a niche. It makes what I do stronger. It makes my system even, even stronger and more advantageous because of the fact that, again, when the move comes in against the retail traders, the institutional move, that's the move you want to be in. That's the one I can spot. That's the one I use the 26-point rating system for to find it, to pick it. You're going to get a bigger move and a bigger playthrough, which is against that other money. And again, you can call it the smart money, uh, the, it's the institutional money. You can call it that if you want. It's just the power. It's the power behind it. it and that is why it's so important to follow through and be with that. Because it makes it so much easier to make money as one individual if you can follow the institutional money in the market. It's something that I'm very good at doing. And I've realized that even more in the last week. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. If you want to learn my system that pinpoints institutional money in the market, then I teach a class once a month on how to do that. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.